morning guys it's Sunday um, sorry we didn't film any of this yesterday um, because it was raining um, so we got the rest of the siding on we're missing about that chunk there uh, we got the top plate put on um, we still got about 95% to do on the outside um, so yesterday after I fed um, I got the siding put on and then it started raining so I got everything cleaned back up um, and then about 11.30 stopped raining the sun came out um, we got the uh, sheathing put on the, the roof and then about 1.30 started raining again so we figured okay it's just going to keep raining so we packed everything up got everything put away and then at about 3.30, 4 o'clock, it stopped raining and the sun came out again. Uh, we got the tin put on. And then we're all done on the roof. So um, that's that. We still got quite a bit to do on the inside. We're trying to get my uncle to come down and, um, and do some work. We're going to put electrical box on that side, um, the old electrical cords here that runs this building. Um, but it's pretty much done. I mean, yeah, there is some daylight holes. Just you know, disregard those. Um, we don't know why the, it's pulling away from the other building. We had it almost tight, but the floor was uneven and it didn't look good so we leveled the other building behind me and it uh it, it, it didn't fix the gap so we don't know what's wrong um the floor yeah it's two different heights um we use two by sixes on the floor the other shed is a two by four um floor so we're going to have to do some work there. But other than that, it's pretty much done. Um, again, we're trying to get my uncle to come down here and do some electricity, electricity work. Um, but I don't know, we might have to do it ourselves. And I don't really like doing it myself. I did that horse bar over there by myself. But I really don't. Both helicopters are out today. I don't know if there's been a wreck somewhere or somebody stranded. But pretty much done. Um, I don't know if we're going to sheet the underside of this, but we're going to put a, a beam here. And it's going to, you know, post and beam. So, you know, our overhang is, is kind of protected. Um, but that's what we did yesterday sorry we didn't film any of it because uh, it was raining but we had some fun times um, nobody really got hurt so and then we did vet check on Friday sorry I didn't film any of that either um, it, we, we were working on the shed and then all of a sudden vets here I didn't have enough time to go down and get the camera so we had a pretty good time um, all of them have calves except for one, kind of sad, but, uh, we're going to give her one more chance, and then, um, if she doesn't have a calf, she's going, going to be, uh, somebody's burger cow, so, that's kind of sad that way, but, oh well. Uh, we did have some excitement, our last calf, our last half her calf that was going through to get preg checked. Um, she decided not to go down the alley and put her head underneath one of these panels and raised it up and popped the pins out of the other panel and got in with uh, Misty, um, Marissa's horse. Um, they're both fine. Um, nothing, just, just a, a world of uh, excitement. Um, but she does have a calf. Um, this calf is going to be one of our uh, special calves. 
um, we put um, the bull gauge in her um, he's a short horn uh, bull um, won't have any horns or anything so you know he'll he's brown so it's it's gonna be like okay is it gonna be brown is gonna be the dominant color is black gonna be the dominant corner or are we gonna get a half and half so stay tuned to that he um, she's due um, in February um, I know break check you know two months away from their birth date but uh, it's, it's to us it's like we AI everything and then we a week later we go to the ranch so it's like we don't have a way to AI I mean break check everybody at the ranch until we get our, our, our uh, head catch um, put in our um, our facility up there uh, we did get the crowds and stuff done this year but other than that we didn't put the head catch or anything in um, so we've got to get that done um, and then we could probably pray check up there with uh, my uncle that's up there um, Dr. Esplin he's up there in Cedar but other than that um, we're doing pretty good um, my mom is going to be going into um, the hospital just gonna get some surgery done um, so I'm I'm losing a uh, a, uh, a, f a ranch hand um, probably you know for quite a while until she can recover um, so I might need somebody to uh, go load hay with me uh, this next year um, if you guys want to go do hay I mean we've had quite a few people hit us up to go you know get hay f with us and load it and come home and offload it with us so um, if you want to do that leave a message down in the comments below and um, and I'll, I'll message you back about doing that um, we usually go um, we usually go and get first cut second cut and sometimes third cut um, it depends on how much um, money we have and how much space we have in the barn. Um, we usually fill the outside. You can see where that haystack is out there. We usually fill that clear full and then have the barns clear full. But uh, last year, um, my suppliers didn't have the hay as fast as we wanted it. Um, so we didn't fill out there. Which will be fine. I'll just have to fill the barn a little bit fuller next year. Um, the 2020 next year. 2021, sorry. <laughs> Not going to do 2020 again. But other than that, everything's doing good. Dad's doing good. Um, nobody's caught anything just yet. Knock on wood. Um, but we're doing good. Um, hope everybody out there is doing good. Um, it is kind of a cold day today. Um, good thing I don't have to go into work because I know my truck ain't going to start. But other than that, guys, um, we're, we're doing pretty good. The shed, um, will probably be done, um, before I can make another video. Um, we're going to get the door on today because the door in there, since we re-leveled that other shed, will not lock, will not latch. So we're going to move the door out here today. I know it's a Sunday, but we're going to do it. We've got a, we've got some expensive stuff in there. Um, most of all my renter saddles and stuff are in there. And I don't want them to get stolen. I mean, I do have a, a dog alarm that goes off all the time when vehicles come in the backyard. But it, it'd be better if it was um, buttoned up. So sounds like the Jets are out playing again today they're out playing on um, Friday which was pretty cool um, but other than that oh, that's a lot so um, if I don't talk to you guys again Merry Christmas Happy New Year um, should be talking again soon though but um, stay safe guys and uh, hang in there